Do you prefer to use certain Windows programs over Microsoft's default offerings like a certain picture viewer or web browser? If so, you've probably run into the issue of having your preferred program defaults reset to Microsoft Windows defaults. Defaults Program Manager is a small utility that provides two options. It can save your current program default settings and restore your program default settings. What this means is you can set all of your program defaults the way you want them, like Adobe Reader for PDF files, Google Chrome for web browsing, etc. Save the config, and later, should Microsoft ever reset your program defaults, like, say, after a Windows update, you can restore the config. Uh, Defaults Program Manager is supported on Windows 8, 8.1, and Windows 10. So let me show you how to use it. First off, if you go to d7xtech.com, you can go to All Software, and you'll see Default Programs Manager on the lower left. Once you get to the page, just download. And then we'll run the installer. This is not a portable program. It is an installer, but it's expected that it's going to be on the system so it can restore your files at a later point in time. So now we have Default Programs Manager open. And what I just want to do is save my defaults. OK. And you can see what my defaults are for picture viewing. I use the old Windows Photo Viewer. And I've also got my settings open here to show you that Video Player is uh, Windows Media Player, the older one, not the newer video app. And I'm using Microsoft Edge Beta on this box as the web browser. So I just want to change these items. To um, go to the old Edge. We'll change this to Movies and TV. I actually have different apps set up for my photo viewer, so they're not shown in here, but I'll just use PNG as my uh, example. And we'll do an open with, and we'll move it to paint.net. And now we open in paint.net. And I'm just going to restore the save defaults now because I don't. Uh oh. Oh. I didn't check always. Got to go and check always. There we go. There we go. Okay, now I'm just going to restore the save defaults. Would you like to restore? Yes. Configuration was restored. Now you can see I'm opening Photo Viewer once again instead of Paint.net. And we'll go to Settings. And we're just going to check our default apps now. And you see we're back to Windows Media Player for the video and we're back to Edge Beta for the web browser. So you see, this is easy as pie. Just one button to save, one button to restore, and you're done. We do have an option. You can check for updates, which I doubt we'll need to update the app. And you can edit the config file. And if you want to go inside the config file, this is advanced. I'm not going to go into where to find all of these identifiers for the various programs in this video. But I will point you to where you can figure all this out for yourself if you want to. In the meantime, you can go through and edit the file if you want. Take out your associations for various things that you may may or may not want to, to keep. Um, you can see down here we have HTTPS and Mail2 and all the good stuff. But, uh, anywho, I will show you where to find all this stuff now. Back on the Default Programs Manager webpage, I got to tell you, we didn't actually do the work here. This program is really a wrapper for a much more complicated program written by a guy named Christoph Kolbix. I hope I got his name pronounced correctly. And Christoph has made a program called Set User FTA. Now, if you go and click on to that, you can take a look at Set User FTA on, on Christoph's website. Take a look at the story, how he goes into it. He goes into how to use it. It's a command line utility. 
and he and here he goes into um, how you can deploy it through scripting as well as going into all of the configuration details that I mentioned earlier so check out Christoph's blog there's a lot of other good stuff on Christoph's blog there actually is a more simple utility than set user FTA it is also a command line utility and that is set web browser and that does just the web browser specifically but why do just the web browser specifically I, I guess uh, it depends on your your preference I guess in any case that's been the video for me thank Christoph if you get a chance to uh, thank me if you like but I really don't deserve the credit for this one and we'll see you next time